get started with this video i wanted to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by blue land so thank you so much to blue land for sponsoring today i'm someone who cleans a lot as it is but especially now that it's 2022 one of the things that i want to do here in the next few days is how to tidy up my apartment and blue land is perfect for that blue land is a sustainable cleaning product brand that makes innovative products in reusable packaging that are convenient effective and affordable blue land was also on the show shark tank which i think is really cool because i love that show blue land does not use any single-use plastic in any component of their product from the bottles to the tablets to the wrappers and even to the shipping all of their products are vegan and cruelty free and they are also made with clean ingredients and they are EPA certified which means that EPA scientists evaluated every single ingredient in their products to make sure it meets the safer choices criteria I have the clean essentials slash hand soap duo kit which comes with reusable hand soap bathroom cleaner glass and mirror cleaner and multi-surface cleaner bottles and a tablet for each. What makes Blue Land unique is that unlike your traditional liquid cleaners that you get in single-use plastics, with Blue Land, all you need to clean your house or your hands is their Forever Bottle, which is reusable, and one of these nickel-sized tablets. All you have to do is fill up your Forever Reusable Bottle with hot water, drop the tablet in, let it dissolve, twist the cap on, and you're ready to go and you can use it to clean. I usually pay around four to six dollars for a bottle of traditional hand soap or cleaner, and Blue Land's tablets are only two dollars each to put that into perspective two dollars is how much you pay for like a pack of gum the tablets can also go as low as costing about a dollar 55 if you buy them in bulk also instead of buying the products individually you can get a whole kit and you actually get 20 percent savings and for even more savings i have a code for you guys and a link that'll be down in the description which will give you an extra 20 percent off if you buy a kit like the one that i have from blue land so if you're interested in checking out blue land trying out their products you can click the link in my description to get an additional 20% off of your first purchase. Also, this is a super rare deal for them to have, so make sure to take advantage of it while you have it if you want to. And thank you again to Blue Land for sponsoring today's video. Cheers. What's up, you guys? It's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. Good morning. It's Monday. Okay, my legs are starting to hurt. This is not a good sign. I'm doing something exciting, but also a little bit nerve-wracking today. I am going to a new gym. This is the first time I have tried a gym here in the city. I found one. I decided to go for it and check it out, try it. So I am about to leave to go do that right now. I am like kind of nervous because I really liked my gym at home and it took a lot for me to even get to that point where I liked that one because I have spoken about this before, but the one gym that I went to before, I just hated the vibe. I don't know, it always made me feel so insecure. I also never knew what the to do in there. It just was intimidating overall. This past summer, I decided I wanted to give it another try. So I tried another gym and actually went in there with a plan and I ended up really, really enjoying it. I liked how I felt afterwards. It was just some nice me time. I would listen to a podcast, getting into a nice routine. I was excited to go. And then obviously I moved. Most of the gyms here, well, I don't know if I would say most, but a lot of gyms here are really expensive. I was looking at a few gyms and they were like over a hundred dollars a month. And I was like, what the I just don't want to pay that. I ended up finding another one that is not $100 a month, which is great. And I'm about to go to said gym and see what the f*** is up. It's always so awkward. I just feel like for me going in the first time to a new place, because I'm like, first of all, I don't know where anything is. I also don't know what the vibes are. Like, I really want the vibes to be good so that I can continue going. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm sounding very the vibes, but it's important. So yeah, that's how I'm starting off this day. Today's vlog is basically going to be kind of getting my shit together. It is January 8th, 9th? 
10th fresh into the new year 2022 and i like to just you know regroup at the beginning of the year get some ducks in a row start some routines i'll talk about that more later but this is a routine that i want to start again for myself let me show you my outfit it's nothing crazy because i have a bunch of like really cute gym clothes but to be completely honest i don't feel like confident enough in my body right now to wear those and like walk into the gym feeling like a bad bitch you know what i mean it, it give me a couple weeks and i get settled back into this and get used to the gym and get back into my routine and then I'll be starting to pull out my cute little gym outfits. But for right now, this is what we're wearing. I just have on some black leggings are from Gymshark. I'm wearing my Gymshark full zip hoodie. I'm just wearing this because it's literally 30 degrees outside right now. I might take it off when I get in there. I might not, I don't know. It's pretty light, so I could totally wear it to work out if I needed to. But under this, I'm wearing a tank top, like in case I get hot and want to take this off. This one is just Nike. I love the color though. And then finally, I'm wearing just my Adidas sneakers. These ones I actually got from Thread Up for a fantastic deal. It's not sponsored by Thread Up. So yeah, that's the fit. It's pretty basic, I guess, but it's what I'm comfortable in right now. So that's all that matters. I am gonna drink this as fast as I can because I don't really want to drink it in there. Will I be vlogging? in there absolutely not it's literally my first day but i will tell you obviously how it goes we're gonna go into it with an open mind that's the most important thing your mindset is pretty much everything everybody has a day one you usually <laughs> throughout your journey have multiple day ones i had a day one over the summer at my other gym and it was scary but i got through it and now i have a day one here at this one that is life <sighs> all right let's go i just got back but before i do absolutely anything else i'm gonna go wash my face because the sweat that accumulated underneath that mask is not good for me acne medication do not fail me now messiest face washer on earth. Like this is not sweat, this is water. I don't know how to not be messy when I wash my face. better. I'm now going to make a smoothie. I usually make one of these, this exact same thing. After I exercise, I just don't have Greek yogurt right now, so I'm just gonna have to like do without that ingredient, but... told you about my gym experience and that is because I have had to do a few things in this past hour that ended up taking longer than I expected. Now it's 12.50 and I have a call with my management team at one just to do some 2022 planning and stuff which I thought would be fun to sort of include in this vlog. It was like a coincidence that we were doing this today. So that is in 10 minutes but I want to tell you about my thoughts on the gym experience this morning. Also I will be showering. I know it's kind of like I feel disgusting sitting here and like not having showered since I got home from the gym But I am planning on dyeing my hair redoing my roots today I'm gonna need to get in the shower after that So I was just like i'll just wait until I do that like i'm going to shower anyway back to what I was saying about the gym So when I got there Obviously, I felt like a lost puppy. I didn't know where anything was. I like did my little check-in. They took my picture and looked at my vaccine card and everything. I was going to look for the locker room. I couldn't find it. And I asked the person at the desk where it was. She just was very nice, told me where it was. And then I was looking for a water fountain. Couldn't find one of those either. So I went back up to the desk and asked them again <laughs> where that was and they just told me where it was. So instead of me wandering around aimlessly for however long that would have taken, I did something out of my comfort zone and I just simply asked where something was. Even though that seems like awkward to me to do, I'm sure that they didn't give a f 
They probably didn't even think about it for another second after I like walked away because they work there Like that's literally their job to like direct people where they need to go in the gym So once I figured those things out I continued like wandering around looking for like the cardio and stretching area where they have the mats and stuff Because I like to do my warm-up and my glute activation there So then I found that little section and from there I was just kind of like observing the rest of the space trying to take mental note of where different things were once I started and got into my workout today I feel like I just walked around like everybody else and found the next thing I needed to do by the end of it after I had done everything on my list I felt like I have gotten my bearings a little bit better. I think that when I go back, I will obviously have a better feel for where everything is and I am not really stressed about that anymore. It is really small, it feels like, compared to the gym that I was going to at home. I don't know if that's because there were just like so many people there or because it's just smaller, but also in New York City, so that isn't a surprise to me. And I am not paying $100 a month for this gym membership. Another thing that I feel like I noticed is that no one gives a f about what anyone else is doing like everybody seemed like they were just minding their own i only saw like a handful of people who were there with other people most people were there by themselves just headphones in doing their own thing which i really love i went into it with a super open mind and i was just there to do what i wanted to do and leave that's really it i think that the thing that has helped me the absolute most with feeling comfortable and confident in a gym is something that I started doing this summer, which is going in there with an actual workout plan. I watched a YouTube video from this girl who was teaching you how to write your own like workout plan and how she writes her workout plans. I'll link that video down below if I can find it again, but I watched that video and I wrote my own workout plan and then I just like saved it on my phone. So I walked into the gym and I knew exactly where I was going and what I was doing and what sequence I was doing them in. It just made me feel like I knew what I was doing a lot more than if I went in there and being like, ah, uh, maybe I'll run, maybe I'll do abs, maybe I'll do this. When I used to go, I would go in with no plan and no strategy at all. And I just felt so awkward. I felt like I had no idea what I was doing because I actually didn't know what I was doing. So the thing that has absolutely helped me the most is just going in with a plan. That way you can just follow your plan, stick to it, mind your business, work through everything and leave knowing that you feel accomplished, you did what you set out to do. In conclusion, I have one minute until this call. I am glad that I went. I'm actually extremely proud of myself for doing this. I think that it went pretty well and I'm excited to go back. So that's my review of the gym. It's 12.59. I'm gonna open Zoom now so that I can get on my call and have my little 2022 planning meeting. I'm very excited about this. I love doing these. Hi. How are you? Oh God, good thing I put on eyebrows today. Uh, Say hi to the vlog. Hi to the vlog. We're about to plan um, a killer 2022 for Hannah. Lori just got engaged, everyone. Say congratulations in the comments. Thank you. Oh, my nails look janky now, dang it. Yes, the yeah. ring. Yeah, you gotta make me look bad. Her finger. Okay, so I just started cleaning. Well, not just. I was doing some cleaning, putting some stuff away, and I just did not feel like continuing. I am not in the right headspace right now to be cleaning. I'm not motivated to do it since it's not like a pressing issue that has to be done today or right this second. I am not gonna force myself to continue right now because I just really don't feel like it. Like I would rather do anything else for some reason than clean right now. I'm not in the mood. So therefore, I am going to move on to something else. And then whenever the inspiration strikes me again to pick pick up and continue tidying up and cleaning, I will continue. What I really wanna do right now is dye my hair. And I think that the reason I wanna do that right now is because I have been putting it off and I really actually don't feel like doing it, but it's something that desperately needs to be done. You can never see it at the time, like in the video. I'll insert a photo though. You can clearly see that my roots are coming in hot. If you've been watching me for a while, at least since I've been dyeing my hair, you know what that looks like. And it may not look like it's that bad, but once I actually dye the roots, you will see that there is a huge difference. So yeah, I've been putting this off and I need to do it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I've done it myself once before and it turned out good. So we're gonna hope that it is the same way today. By the way, Charlie has been sleeping all day. I mean, she always sleeps all day and then like wants to party all night. But recently she has been sleeping like this under the covers with her head peeking out like a human. Are, are you crying at how adorable she is too? Or is that just me? She's just so cute. I can't stop petting her. I can't stop. She is living a life of luxury. So I've literally just been sitting here petting her for like 20 minutes, but I really, I really need to go dye my hair. So, All right, Charlie, I don't want to do it either, queen.
the color to my roots. Hopefully I got all of them. And now I am gonna wait like 30 minutes and wash it out and also just get a shower. And hopefully I will come out of this feeling like a brand new bitch. I have dye all over. This is a mess, but it's what we have to do. Good morning. It is definitely the next day, but I did dye my hair last night. There is a little bit of stain on my skin from the dye, which is kind of rude because I did put Vaseline on my hairline before I dyed my hair as I always do. And usually that stops the stain from happening on my skin, but I guess yesterday it just, the Vaseline just wasn't effective. <laughs> That's okay though. It costs me like $10 to do this to my own hair. Besides the staining, Okay, it looks pretty good if I do say so myself. I'm spending $10-ish. Going to the salon would probably be like at least $100. So I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. I'll take a little bit of staining. It'll go away in a couple days. So yeah, it's the next day. I was planning on going on a nice little walk this morning to go to a coffee place that I've never been to. Sorry that you can hear that. You know, I say this in every video, but it's my heater. This plays into what I was just gonna tell you about the walk. I was going to go for a walk, but I decided against it because it's one degree outside. Oh, now it's actually zero. The real feel right now is zero degrees. So uh, I quickly decided against leaving at all. It's not happening. I like going on walks. It's a fun way of exercise and I wanna implement that. That's one of my New Year's goals that I wanna do is do that at least a couple times a week. Not happening today. I don't want to get frostbite. We're staying here and I made my own coffee, which is Delicious, obviously, because it's the same coffee that I make every single day. But yeah, now I had an idea. I want to fill out, or continue filling out, I should say, my 2022 Artist of Life workbook, okay? This is not Spons. I f love this. I started filling it out when I was at home, like right before New Year's, because there's a little section to reflect on the previous year. And then there's all the planning sections and goals and manifesting your dream life and stuff for 2022. And I just think that it's so much fun. It's by Lavender and it's just so great. So we've got like prioritizing your self-care, creating healthy habits and committing to them. There was one section in here that I really wanted to do. I wanted to make a vision board. There's a, a literal page for this. I wanted to do that and then I wanted to print it out and put it here so that I always have it. I think that would be fun. I'm gonna make a vision board for 2022 right now. Maybe I'll even do it on like Procreate or something on my iPad. This is gonna be so much fun. I wanted to film this because it's kind of part of the whole theme of like getting my life together, planning out this year. I need to like dig my printer out of my closet. That, that's another reason I'm doing this because I need to print something else out. My printer is in my closet and I literally haven't pulled it out since I have moved here because it's huge. Now I have another reason to break out my printer. We're gonna have just a nice, relaxing, and fun activity period morning together. It's morning for me right now. If you wanna follow along and do this with me, you don't need an iPad. You can just make yours on Canva like I was gonna do in the first place. Canva is free. Feel free to go make Canva account. I highly recommend Canva in general. Canva, if you're seeing this, my business email in the description. Go to the platform, make a free account, and make a 2022 vision board along with me. To answer the potential question of where do I even start when making a vision board, I recommend just writing down some key words or phrases or feelings or activities or literally anything that you want to happen in your life over the next year. From there, I went onto Pinterest, which is my go-to platform, honestly, to find any inspiration for anything ever. And I just started typing in those keywords, the phrases that I just wrote down or like variations of those and finding photos that spoke to me. Some of them were just pictures. Some of them had quotes on them. Whatever speaks to you when you're doing this, just save all of that. All right. Hello. It's been probably like 30 minutes-ish. I was just sitting on Pinterest and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and saving things. I'm actually getting super inspired just by like looking at all the things I've already found. So I'm going to go ahead and airdrop them all over to my iPad so that I can like move things around and procreate. This is actually so much fun. Comment below if you guys are doing this along with me. If not, that's totally fine. But if you are, comment below some of the like main keywords and themes that you want for your 2020. Let's make the collage. <laughs>
things. One, I got some of like the most devastating news of my life last night. I found out that Vampire Diaries is being taken off of Netflix in March, I believe, of 2022 aka this year and i understand that that's happening because of some like contract or something but if any of you guys know a good lawyer feel free to send them my way because i need to sue for emotional distress now that we got that out of the way what i actually came on here to chat about now is i know that i had been forming some kind of unhealthy definitely actually definitely unhealthy habits in 2021 i don't know i just see the beginning of a new year as a fresh start kind of like a definitive starting point in my mind when i was filling out my artist of life workbook that i talked about earlier there was this whole section about habits i just feel like i wanted to create some new habits and a few of those i showed in this video or at least i talked about in this video like exercising i have a schedule that i am trying to stay on in terms of going to the gym and then on the days i'm not going to the gym i want to build the habit of taking a walk to a place i've never been whether it be like a part of the city or a specific restaurant or a coffee shop or just something i am trying to get into a good consistent routine of those things. But another thing that I wanted to get into the habit of doing was actually waking up and like getting out of bed when my alarm goes off. I have the tendency, and this is what I was talking about when I said unhealthy habits. I used to be able to get up so early in college. I think that that's another thing. Like ever since I graduated, I don't necessarily have an actual time that I need to get up because I do make my own schedule. And something I've really struggled with is creating structure in my life because I'm the only one that can create the structure at this point and I'm just doing a shitty job at it. Another thing that I wanted to start doing was my alarm goes off, getting the f up and not laying in bed for like a million years afterwards so that I can actually feel like I'm getting a good start to the day. So I wanna break that cycle. I'm telling you all of this because something that I think is really important about setting goals, at least this is my opinion on it, is you don't want to like put too much on your plate at once. When I try to set multiple goals at a time, like for example, at the start of a new year, if I have a bunch of like resolutions or things that I want to do in my life, if I put more than probably two of them on my plate at a time, it's counterproductive for me. It overwhelms me and it makes me not want to do any of them because I'm like, well, fuck, I probably won't be able to do all of these. So like, what's the point of doing any of them? I know that's a stupid mindset, but it's just kind of the way that my brain processes when I put a lot on my plate. So what I'm doing is I am going to work on the two things that I just told you for a month. I'm going to just do those things for a month. And then at the end of the month, I'm going to evaluate how I'm doing. And I'm basically just going to keep working on those two things until I have created solid habits and solid routines with those things that I've like really gotten into the group of. And then I will start allowing myself to incorporate new goals and routines to start practicing once I already have those down. Like I really want to take this like one step at a time because I just feel like that's going to be in the long run able to produce a better outcome and you know actually have some longevity to these habits that i'm trying to form why am i telling you this i don't know i just thought that maybe somebody else out there kind of thinks the same way so if anyone watching this has that issue as well maybe try just setting one or two goals for yourself at, at first, giving yourself some time to actually dedicate your full attention and your motivation to those things to the point where you don't have to focus that much energy on them anymore because they become a natural part of you and your routine. And then you can start incorporating other goals like one by one or two by two or whatever works for you. This is just a theory that I have. This isn't something that I like have started yet. I just started it a couple weeks ago. It's only the second week of the year. It's kind of like a science experiment. It's kind of fun. I want to see if that makes a difference for me in terms of being able to actually adopt these habits into my life and just make them a part of my life, a seamless, frictionless part of my life. That's just a thought that I wanted to end this vlog on because I thought it tied into like the whole overall overarching theme of this. And with that, that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope that you guys are feeling good so far in 2022 and go into the rest of this year with a good mindset. 
I'm hoping that for myself too, because I suck ass at that, but we're gonna try to do better. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you've stayed until this point in the video, comment down below, I'm a real one because you're a real one. If you wanna see more videos from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I post a new video every Sunday. If you forget that I post a new video every Sunday or you just wanna get notified right when I post, make sure you turn on my post notifications for my channel. It's a little bell icon so that you never miss an upload and you get notified right when I post a new video. And yeah, I think that's it. I love you guys so much. Hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh.